Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, just a little tips and tricks on air stoning. Everybody talks about, yeah, it's real easy. So you just get the putty, and they say to put it on like a cake or a cupcake or whatever. So we're going to put it on there real thick. Make sure you get all the sides. Get it off the sides. There is no real thing. No real specific way to do it. Just get it on there real thick. And all you do is get on there and you know where you're going to put it. I already looked. And you just push it on there and let it pour out the sides. That's a good thing because you know it got all the way in the back. And you can leave it like that. We let some sit overnight like that. And when we put another one that was so hard we couldn't put it up. So run your fingers across the sides. Just like silicone. You'll have some left over. You no, know, put it in there and run it along the side some more. On the back side over here. And make sure everything's nice and flat. If you got any axes, whatever on your gloves, just wipe it off. Okay, you still got more, and just put it back in the in the bucket. But if you let this sit overnight, make sure you rub it like that. Okay, because if you don't, if you leave puddles, it's going to dry. Get you a razor, and you can cut it on the edges like that, and just wipe it right off. And that's the best way i found to do it. Okay? Thanks, babe. Okay, guys. And a little bit more tips on the air stoning. They don't do the corners anymore like they used to. So the best way we found it is this end here is all flat and this end is a curved end. It may, to us it looks good. I mean, I guess you can try to go back and forth but then the patterns won't be staggered. So it won't look as natural. And you know, I was kind of upset that they didn't have the corners like they used to but you know that's, you know, work with what we got to work with. And then this here is how we did our edge. And of course we're going to restain our cabinets and do all that. So that's what that looks like. But just to give you an idea, another thing is some of the gaps are really big. Like I guess you can see right here. And uh, what we did over here as you can see is we just filled them with the putty. And that's still kind of wet. But... Some of the putty, like this down here, this is dry. So if you put putty on there, you can see on the white stone where the gray is, where you rubbed it. Which to me is fine. It kind of looks more like a mortared look and it looks like it's natural. So, and this specific thing is Birch Bluff. And one more thing when you buy them, we didn't know how many corners we were getting or what. So if it just says Birch Bluff on the box like that, I don't think it has any corners. Let me see. Let me put you on pause. Okay, guys, continue. When you go to buy your boxes, we wasn't sure what was corners and what was not corners. When you go to buy your boxes, you look on the side with the handle. If it's just Birch Bluff or whatever brand you buy, it's just going to have a picture the stone that means it's gonna be all straight edges now if you look at the corner finished that's some with the corners on it and don't let the picture fool you because it says to stagger them like that you can do it like that but it's not all one piece like it used to be you have to do it manually okay and now also the corner finish the box is not all corners okay when you get a box they're gonna come with sections like this and now when you get the box, each section will have two corner pieces and then two, uh, both flat pieces. And they might all look like that design. They might be different lengths. Okay, you might have like two corners here and then those will be flat or two corners here and these will be flat on each side. So that's just a little FYI. Um, I'd say there's three rows of these on the bottoms. I think it's uh, four high, so you might have like 12, 24 in pieces. So.
so that's just a little FYI the whole box is not corners and like you see here this is all the corners we we bought three boxes of corners and we opened them all up and we separated them by color and we started we did all these corners and then those corners so but that's how it looks if you do it you know just all even on one side instead of staggering the corners so I was just gonna give you all a heads up guys because I know they kind of changed and this is our first DIY project with the airstone like you'll see there's some gaps in those later on I'll go through and fill that all up on the main ones you can see and I built this countertop from scratch so I'll post more videos or pictures uh, to let y'all know how it comes out. If y'all have any questions or anything, just leave comments below. Alright, appreciate it guys.